It's the building anticipation of the mystery race that is to come. Hello, mystery fans. We're back. Mystery Tournament 17, aka Mystery Tournament 0017, continues today. We got two matches in a row, hopefully, according to the schedule. Then a short break. I don't know. We might, we might channel might go down, might come back up. I don't know. Um, and then more matches later on. The first of which is going to be Aaron Doby versus Juhorse. Juhorse. Yeah, Juhorse sounds good. So we have a newcomer on the right with, a, a, I want to say, a veteran on the left here. Seventh edition. That's plenty of experience and a positive win rate. Although, with the most recent loss Aaron Doby had in the most ridiculous 3D platformer game chrono project oh right this is now a flat even 50 percent win rate so that means this is an elimination match it is is this the first one is this I is think one of the these two one. players K kira had oh. uh, the first match i don't know if kira oh. went out or not okay well the second player to exit mystery tournament 17 is going to be one of these two Do you trust the past games thing to to pull up what games they uh, they played? No, is but that it's gonna, gonna work. It's gonna show who who you host lost against at least. Okay, it was Metallia. Right. I remember the match on the schedule, but I don't remember who won. Well, Metallia. I, or, I uh, think. Sorry. <laughs> and yet, I don't remember what they played. Yeah. That was. Yeah. <laughs> I was like thinking for a second. Wait, don't we? <laughs> I think you know. I think I can. I think there's some evidence that we can use to solve this puzzle. <laughs> will they? Will they be solving puzzles in the game they're playing? I'm not sure. Kind of the whole I'm point. right only. Oh, again. Looking at it now. Oh, come on. I think they will be. I kind of like the pace bin opens. Right. Oh, hello. Test, test. Yeah, sorry. I was I was on the right channel only. Oh. I thought it was like a like a compliment. <clears throat> Maurice, you're right again. Oh. Well done, Maurice. Always. This pace bin opens with a gigantic screenshot of what the game looks like. And uh, I really like it. I, it's interesting. It looks very gloomy. I don't know. I think it's just a screenshot. It, but it looks like uh, something's wrong with the machine. Yeah. I mean, I, get, I do like the game itself. But I, I also mean, like, I really like the idea of just, like, this is what you're in for. Like, just seeing a picture can often really contextualize a lot of the text that's in a paste bin. Two different jump buttons, and that's it. Move and jump. Move, jump, also jump, and pause menu. The opposite of jumping. Oh, we're going on to a Mega Man X track next. Maybe no, the tension. I have no connection to any of these Mega Man games that people like, like Battle Network or X. I don't. I do not relate to those games. Mm hmm. I mean, I've never even played Mega Man Battle Network. Everything I know about it is from screenshots out of context that make the writing look really clever. So I, I think I would like to sit down and play them one day. And then the Mega Man X games are, um, they're a lot of, they're like a, 
Mega Man X and all of the... We have a lot of games in Mystery Tournament that are like Mega Man X-like. In the sense that you have an attack button that you can hold down to charge. And you can dash and you can jump. And you can jump out of a dash to get a jumping dash. Run, and shoot so man. You, hmm? Yeah, run, run, jump, shoot man. Yeah, like in the Eagle Raptor video. Mm-hmm. But that's three buttons and you... You want to be holding and releasing those buttons in really specific ways. Like, if you want to hold a charge shot, dash, and then jump, and then shoot the charge shot in midair, and then start charging another shot, it, you would hold attack, hold dash, hold jump. While holding dash and jump, release attack and repress attack. Like, that's a that's not a comfortable input. And you need to be doing stuff like that all the time in those games. Yeah, so. it's, it's like as, as gamers, you know, as gamers. Like, it seems not that hard. Like, we do it all the time. Like, you, you run around, you, you look at the enemies, you plan your next move, you charge your shot, whatever. But, like, as if someone who doesn't play a lot or any video games, that's a lot. Uh, like, it's asking a lot of them to juggle all these controls and paying attention to everything on screen at the same time. And then uh, an on-screen prompt is like, press the X button, and they're like, which one is the X button? They have to look down at the controller. I mean, to be fair, the X button is... It, it depends what console you're playing. It's It could be anywhere. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally the one that can <laughs> yeah. be anywhere. Even the classic Mega Man games, I only... I had one of them on, like, Genesis. It was, like, it was a weird one. So, like, I, I don't specifically have a nostalgic connection to them, but something about them as speedruns and my early interest in speedrunning intersected with those games a lot. And so I've learned a lot about the speedruns. I've commentated on some of the speedruns and tournaments and stuff, so it's more of a recent thing for me. Was it last year <clears throat> where we kicked off Mystery Tournament with a, a Game Boy Mega Man race? Yeah, Mega Man 3? 2? Mm. It wasn't very good, and it went to time for one of it the didn't races. It did go it was very well for the players, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> I think there were two races, and one went to time, the other, like, one player finished and the other didn't. Mm hmm. The game that we're gonna see shortly, I think. I hope. It's um, I think it's a PSP game or PS1 or or both. But it looks like a lot of other games we've seen before in Mystery Tournament. And I will say it is a puzzle game. Now, does that play to Aaron Doby's strengths? He does strike me as a puzzler. Well, like his entire thing, isn't it? He, mm. he won puzzle tourney. He won Did the, he? Okay. <laughs> the not so much puzzle tourney. The find bars that spell out 3142 tourney. Tetris. 
drop puzzle games like Tetris and Puyo Puyo, that they tend to be a pretty different beast. Yeah. Than People call them puzzle, puzzle games, but I, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. think Tetris is a puzzle game. It, it's more a game about reactions, which is just any platformer as well. Like, yeah. Like, it's not like you can pause and look at it and come up with really a big strategy. It's very much about doing the best with what you have. It's like for a while the games industry just uh, treated, first of all, shooters. Like if you if you were a side-scrolling top-down shooter, that was the same as like a first-person shooter. Even like it was just if you shot a gun, you were a shooter. And fighting games, one-on-one -on -one fighting games, were the same genre as like a beat 'em up mm. against multiple enemies. They just called them all. Brawler fighter. fighting games or beat em ups or All right, we have a game and I Luckily, we have the English translation for this name, because I would not be able to read this title otherwise. It's Loop Pop Cube. Loop Salad. Loop Salad. So... Rupo Sarado. Yeah. Sure. I'll believe you. Rupopo... Q. I mean, I know it's Q. Boo. Boo. Yeah, yeah, because if it was a dot, it would be poo. I can read it. I can't. I can read the numbers from 1 through 9 in China. No, it's Japanese, isn't it? Wait, wait why is it? Oh, it's the same. Yeah. It might be both. Yeah. But yeah, I can do that because of Mahjong. <laughs> it's a, if it's yeah. one line, it's a 1. If it's two lines, it's a 2. Hovering over story. I mean, I can I can come up with two. things too. Oh, the second one is continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'm the... actually reading it. Oh, and then the third I'm one. I'm not then... making it up. The third one is controlu. <laughs> <laughs> it's and then it's Tai Tyson. Tyson. I don't know what that means though. That's the thing. I can sound. I can make the sounds. But I don't always know what that means. Okay, hold on, I can I can use technology. Aku. Yeah, ak Akushon. Yeah, action, and then it's Tyson. Apparently, it, the translator doesn't want to translate it if it's translatable. And then we have Cube Normal. So difficulty, I guess. So Cube, wait, what? Cube Normal? Cube. I'll say translate this. Translates the top one as do. Let's do. Tyson would be war or battle mode. That makes sense because uh, there's some similar words that have that tie. I know, like the. The usual stuff, Ohio, Rigato, Tanaka, Taikiku, you know, the classics. The classics. Yeah. Ohio, yeah, that's it. That's what they mean. Yeah. They, they just love the rural United States in the morning. So this is a puzzle game where you have to match all the blocks. Typical. Yeah. It's a... Uh, oh wait, I've seen this. a couple... Or a game very much like this in Last Empty. 
There was one where the blocks were made of jelly. Huh. That was very similar. Oh, we're, we're, we're almost gone. Here we go. So here are the things that might not be immediately apparent. You can push multiple blocks at once. You can also push blocks that are one level above you by jumping. You can climb up ledges by jumping to the side of a block. That to me stands out as like, this is the part of the, the pace bin you really want to read. Yeah, Jelly No Puzzle, that was it. No, I mean, yes, also, but no, we, we played a game that looked pretty much exactly like this. Oh, you was just oh. back in the menu somehow. Oh, also oh I thought those two, I thought the two were going to match and leave the third one stranded. And I was like, oh, yeah. it's an impossible Oh no! Puzzle. Aaron, uh -oh. why did you do this? Is there an undo? What is the music? <laughs> my nichi, my ni every day, every day. Thing every day? You steal the rap from Logan Paul? Wait, <laughs> yours, yours went in the same level. Oh no, yours was ahead, but it's now behind. Uh -oh. The menuing bus. Okay, so the blocks won't match early, that or you need to match three at a time before they will match at all. It, sure. It's three. No way. It's like nice to you. Well, you can't go down there until you knock all the blocks down. And most of these blocks can only be knocked down one way. Yeah. If not all of them. Yeah, all of them. So this goes right twice and then right and left. The fact that you can push multiple blocks at once is... Like, it's pretty different from most other block-pushing games. And so, like, all these red flags go off where I'm like, oh, that's a that's a, a loss condition. Those blocks are stuck, mm. you know? But it's just it's just not in this game at yeah, all. Yeah. You don't want sandwiches. That's true. Oh, see, if you push this all the way, it's going to match for Aaron Doby. And sees that, but... Oh! oh! Nice. Very clever. Oh, the combo! combo. <laughs> oh, damn, that, that's gonna be a lot of garbage for you, Huss. Gonna oh, drop the down. sandwich for Jew Horse. All the garbage gonna drop down from the ceiling anytime now. On top of Jew Horse? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you can do, like, this weird jump that I wouldn't expect you to be able to make. Like, one across and one up. Oh, because you can catch onto the corners of things. Okay, you just push the blue. Get a combo. Yep, I guess so. I so, guess this is teaching you about gravity. That was tough. Right, we're beating chapters 1 and 2. I'm gonna assume 10 levels per chapter. Could be. This game's gonna have to get a lot harder, I think, for this to be a substantial goal. So, you need to build something to catch you, to get you up to these red blocks before you match all of the blue blocks. But just shifting them over by one is enough? If you Can you jump and push? And I guess if, not. And if you can't, then what's the solution here? You can't separate the blues, so how are you going to use the blue to build a two tall stack? That's a good point. We'll find out, I guess. Aaron Doby throws his body at it. Oh, it does oh. work. But why didn't he do that earlier then? I don't know. It's Maybe like... the... <laughs> couldn't couldn't get back up to the top without going along the bottom and then like pushing the blocks all the way to the right and like maybe they jam it up too much. I know you has fell for the trap. Do you think World 2 has a different track? I mean, I hope so. It's not even like... I don't, I don't even mind this music, but like it's restarting with a 30 second wait between... Problem. I can tell you, if I had to actually focus on solving these puzzles, I would have muted it immediately. No hesitation. <laughs> oh, you not can... talk to me while I'm trying to solve puzzles. You can just push yellow now. Yeah. And just... 
Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god, you could Brutal. die! Savage! You thought this game was cute? We just got Madoka Magic. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it was quite that bad. Oh, two horse. Same thing. Two horse having a lot of trouble with this stage. I mean, it's a weird concept. Don't fault him. So many colors. Oh, but there's like a combo going on there. Oh, but you so got what it. even was it? It was a you you jump from the ground into the block to push it. Uh, you push the red and then the blue. If you push the red, the blue falls on top of you, doesn't it? Look, I don't know. I'm I'm just. Oh, Aaron Doby just did it. Speaking of doing it, clears out a ton of blocks, but too early to match all those peach blocks. I think it's that jump push maneuver. You can push blocks that are one level above you by jumping. It says in the pace bin. Oh yeah, then you push red. So you do the jump push and then red. Oh, they've done the PSP version. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I knew that I've seen this game. Yuho has a sandwich. Resets immediately afterwards, as they need to do. Aaron's sort of thinking about ways to disturb this stack of blocks such that it doesn't all match up. Aaron wants pink. I'm not sure. Oh, this is gonna work either. I mean, you could push yellow down. Wait, no, you couldn't because you're gonna get crushed by the axe. Mm. Also, plus plus for colorblind friendliness. If you were to push the cyan ones in at the bottom, that's gonna break up this... some of this. Mm, I mean, you still can't push cyan down. What if you push cyan to the right? Like the, the first one. Well, you, at the bottom. You... And then you yeah. go back up, and then you can push Cyan down. And then yellow down, and then you hope that you didn't screw everything up. Oh, Aaron Doby making room to push Cyan right. There it is. Two horse needs to jump, and there. The blocks are in position. Just don't accidentally match them. Oh no, Aaron, why did you restart? Oh. Doing then, a lot of the same moves. I uh, wonder if it was. Did Aaron jump down or something? Oh, didn't match green. That's right. Match green first. Okay, so if yellow goes down now, here you get these these pinks, but this works. Yeah. Yeah, that works. A fire combo. <laughs> I would love to see the pop up on screen. There's hellfire combo. Or, or or her in her cute little voice, she's like, Hellfire! Let's <laughs> <laughs> just Puyo Puyo in general. <laughs> you can get back up here. And that's maybe an important clue to solving this puzzle, that you don't want to push lockdown at the start. That's a good point. Sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich detected. Yeah, screw Sokoba detected. We are detecting sandwiches. I wish I could be a professional sandwich detector. <laughs> People could hand me breaded objects. And I would just let them know. Ah, but I think this if works. red goes right, yeah, I think it's just okay. Red, red all the way to the right and then just push left until you, you win. Yeah. Oh no. Whoa. Whoa. Careful! Uh, what, what are you Whoa. doing? Careful! Oh. Is it so unnecessary? <laughs> <laughs> we got a, we're gonna get a solve from Jewhorse here, I think. It needs to get that jump. Oh, it's going up top. I don't want to see them go up top here. Oh, no. Oh, so... Oh, one of these... I hate this. Yeah, there's probably one. This to the left. Just try it out. See what happens. It matches the 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 oranges and the yellows and the reds and the blues. Yeah. 
Uh, jump to the left. Jump and match. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't oh, think it's all bad. that hard to oh, destroy. That, yeah, that, well, that tower is too high. You're gonna crush yourself. Not about this. This is really big brain stuff. Oh, the combo! <laughs> We've I've tested some puzzle games before that are all about like just make three clever swaps and it matches all nine sets at once and uh, I just can't see it. I... And it wasn't and not only well, G Horse putting this against the the corner there is definitely not good. Not only was this a combo, it was also a perfect clear. That's fifty thousand points. I don't know how many points that is. In order to get that top blue block on the right, you are going to need to what? Jump into the lower blue block? Like, I don't even know if you can jump now. Like, is this a jump you can make? Oh, you can do that. You would need to fill... Oh, I don't know about that. Like, this is, this is not going to work, right? And I, I don't think there was a way to save it, but... Hmm. You could... If you were to fill that whole 2x2, two two, you would need reds on the bottom and blues on top, and then push red across. How could you avoid having... Can you push red in first? Yeah, sure. And get one in, the other one... And jump over. Run around then. And then the red's going to be on top of the other red. Not a problem. Well, yeah, because eventually you want a block to slide all the way across oh, the yeah. gap. Yeah, yeah. And avoid matching. But this isn't good. But I don't know if any of this is actually necessary. So look, what you horse has found... Remember when we were like, why did Aaron reset? It's because those blue blocks on the bottom are now blocking Jew horse from getting back up to the top. Uh -huh. No, I think in this puzzle you push the lower blue block two to the right, go over it, push it one more to the left again. And this will also work. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. You have to use this one, otherwise you're gonna make a match. Oh. Ah, building a combo. Love it. Yeah, Aaron's pretty smooth. Like, a, these little things really I don't think are gonna ever decide a race, but it's still impressive that Aaron's finding them. World 2, I assume. <laughs> okay. Bothering her dad while he's reading the paper. Uh, new music? Ah, that's new music. Thank God. It's also got lyrics. Well, I mean, I, I did not expect it to not have lyrics. I was fully right, prepared pretty for straightforward. this. Well, wait, are those three gonna match? Do I just do it like that? Okay. Here's a crazy idea. Take a screenshot of the level select so that during all these loading times you can think about the next level. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so threes do match even if it's not all of the blocks on the level. And Aaron just immediately says, if I push both of these in here, I'm screwed. So I'm gonna not do that. And the move that Aaron does end up doing is just the winning one immediately. That's one of these. Oh, okay, yeah, just push this one left. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, this works. Just jump. You win, yep. Ah, uh, Jew Horse now, with the correct solve. But this is a, a gap of like six levels, seven levels. Yeah. Too many levels. 
Alright, so you want to get a block stuck in the bottom there. Probably. Where well, it's there. Do on the right, and then you push two together in from the left sort of thing? Yeah, that works. It could be, you know, one on the right and you push three in a row, or... I think you push two from the left. That makes a lot of sense. Because you can... Yeah. You just push the block in the hole, and then the other one over it. Two more. One more. Yeah, right there. Now you can push another one over without creating a match. Yeah, and then the other... Oh, where are we going? This is a little bit faster, maybe, if you were to... You can't push both down. That's bad. Three high, you're going to get squished. Well, I mean, three but high is going to match. Well, yeah, that too. We did it. Six more levels for Aaron. Uh, Fourteen levels for Drew Horse. Yeah, Aaron looking pretty scary out there. I just noticed she's wearing a totally different outfit. Oh yeah, she's no longer a penguin. Yeah. And I wanted like, the background is like the Antarctic in World One and now she's She's in somewhere. Paper towel pranked Japan. <laughs> So if yellow goes left, it matches all the yellows, it matches all the reds, and then and then this is free. the blues seem totally easy. What a weird level. But maybe Aaron prepared something that we didn't even see. Yeah. Oh, she's a nurse, and those are the bandages, and she's she's gone and she's bandaged up the trees and oh, the geez. bird and the buildings to. <laughs> Okay, so you need blocks going down together two by two, I guess. Yeah, and you need blue first. How's this gonna work? Can you can you have a yellow imposter in there? Like the, you'd have to get red past the yellow as well. Yeah, you have to. Okay, so here's the thing: blue to the right a little, yeah, and then push yellow and blue down. So yellow first, and then blue, and then you can push blue off yellow by jumping. That works for a while, till eventually you need to get the reds past... Well, that works the same like way. The second red needs to get past oh, this, another this... yellow, right? Yeah, that works. Okay. Just, just push this as... No! What? Mm. Could've pushed on red and yellow, push yellow off, and yeah, that would've worked. That was perfectly fine. Here, now get blue out of the way. Just push it as right as it goes. Mm. Aaron feels like Come just on. as soon as... So the... Obviously, like, the... The blocks are not in the order you want them to. Yeah, and you change the order by doing the jumping push. Mm. Like, by, by pushing yellow down first and then blue, you can put blue ahead of yellow. I mean, this is just... Yeah, the, the jumping push down below, you mean. Yeah, like you go down there. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. Horse making sandwiches on the right. Oh man, so much, this is like a super sandwich. Yeah, the yellow is like the cream filling on all of these sandwiches. And your true just needs to push red to the right. Yeah. All the way will work. Now it's like sandwiches within sandwich. It's like a turducken situation. Whoa, where are we going? I mean, Jonas is doing it like uh, Aaron Dobby did. Oh, yeah. Not necessarily compl- Oh, no, there we go. All right. Aaron pushes a single block down and is like, no, that's wrong. Yeah, it's happened a few times, though. 
Once with blue, once with red, and then with blue again. I can't tell if Aaron has spotted something that you haven't and is trying to figure out a way around it, or if they just misread what was going on. So in, in my mind, you push blue out of the way now. <laughs> the I you're gonna be like, in my mind, I'm right. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> I like your. I can follow your moves, and they all seem good, all the way up until the second red block needs to get past two yellows. But I guess if those two yellows were connected down there, it would be okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Although red down there red is already bad. is a little. You really want blue down there, so you need to push yellow down. You will not be able to get blue down without pushing the yellow one down. No matter what you do. Blue, red, yellow. No, I, I disagree. Blue last. Uh. Huh? I mean, maybe. I don't know. It's it's hard to visualize. If you could, if you could push like the last blue over top of all the other blocks. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. that would be interesting. But I don't see a reason why this wouldn't. <laughs> We've seen this so many times though. I think with the amount of time Aaron's been here, I would I would start just doing stuff and seeing what happens a little more. Maybe even if I knew it was wrong, I would play it out just to sort of like try to conceptualize more clearly what part about it was wrong. Yeah, so I, I vote for yellow down now. Up one. Mm-hmm. And then, and blue, then blue right on top. on top of it, and then jump push the blue to the right. Yeah. I mean, so th this could also work if you slide blue all the way over. But, but I don't know. This is this is the the spice father. If we see these two yeah. yellows go together. Oh, but gr blue's on the other side of green now. Is that a problem? Oh. Green just needs to be on the left at the end. No way to get blue before the green. That's not true. You can just jump push blue if it's on top of green. What space is there gonna be? So complicated. Oh no, this <laughs> don't push this. Yeah, that's got to stay. Uh, this is maybe fine. I don't know. Got to push. No, no. Oh, yes. Yeah, this uh, will work. Yes. Yeah, this will work. But I feel like this was unnecessarily complicated. It is very elegant, though. Here we go. Not a combo. Doesn't count. <laughs> it's as close as you could get to a combo. Yeah, but it's like in the Darmaru thing. The puzzle game we played with the hammer. Uh, Dharma Dojo. Like what you would call a combo in that game if you can just do it one match. Just mash the button, yeah. At a time, yeah. So two horses on this level. We We think there's two ways of doing it. One is using the blues to shield the red blocks away so that red can slide across the top without matching. But I think you could probably just get some blocks in the bottom and then do a jump to poke out the blue from the, the left to the right. Aaron's got to avoid matching these blues together at the very start, obviously, but then... I think if you just push 
Uh, oh, my mind. Work. If you stand in the gap between the blues and you jump left, it's gonna match red. That's bad. This is also bad. Everyone has a sandwich. Sandwich can only be matched away like this. Oh wait, no, that. It would have worked, right? Oh, but you can push that way. But you can do it from the left. Yeah, push, the... push the left sandwich oh, in. Oh no! Don't, no 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 no! Oh! Uh, but almost like if if the blue one had been one further to the right, that was the solution. Yeah, if there was an undo button, Aaron would be done. So Jewhorse has got a slightly different thing going on here. Can you jump out of that gap? I Apparently guess not. not. Yeah, no, this... Do we remember what they did? This, yeah, looks, or... this looks the same. No, this is wrong. I went right this time. Or is it? Oh no, it's correct! It's good! Never mind. The blues will match together. I like the, the other solution more though, that, that one had a combo. <laughs> Jew Horse is gonna be able to get this as well. Matches the reds first and then the blues. They win chapter one. Get some new music as a reward. And new. Oh god. There's powers. This. Well, the peaches look like an appealing match, but there's one that doesn't quite want to go. And if you ever send the red in front of the peach in, then it's just not going to ever connect up and match. I guess you don't have to do one match for all of the colors, right? Like, there are so many reds and blues. Yeah, but you do have there's... to make one for peach. Yes. And that's like kind of the hard one. Yellow has six, and so does green. So you can do three sets, of th or two sets of three. Red has a million. <laughs> Ten. Same as blue. I would definitely think about how to match the features. If he were to push the the peach in, that's sort of like encapsulated those two reds, I think. And prevents any anything from connecting to it. Oh. Which of course gets squished. Or nurse. Loop. <laughs> Loop. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Okay, I like it just because it's a match. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This still works? Oh, does it? No, this doesn't work. Green and peach is locked. Yes. You can't clear green without clearing peach, and clearing the peach will leave one peach left. There are some uh, pen and paper puzzles that... That checkerboard pattern of greens and peaches in the, the bottom right 2x2, two two, that's like a deadly pattern that you can avoid. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh. oh it, it was one of these stupid things. It was uh. exactly, exactly one of those types of puzzles. <laughs> but it's this, like the kind of puzzle you would see in Jalino puzzle. Oh, Jew Horse with a really elegant looking solution. I don't know, never mind. That's just pushing the blocks left immediately at the start, but it looked good until it was wrong. Five blue blocks, so another, How do you another match sort of T-shape required. I'm picturing two on the left, two on the right, and then one drops down in the middle. Yeah, I think you, you need to leave the one on the bottom platform there. I'm pushing some stuff really quickly. Oh, this, this was soft if Aaron had left the blue up there, like in the middle. Because then you could do this, and the one on the right, and then jump back up and drop it in there, in the middle. Like, he solved the left part correctly, he almost solved the right part correctly, should have left the, plat uh, the box on the platform, could have then done these two pairs right on that little corner, and then dropped the one on top. See if Aaron sees it. Alright, don't push this one down. Yeah, here we go. Keeps it in the middle. Put this one to the left, yeah. Move the other box to touch it. 
like this one. And then we jump back up and complete and the match. And you can make that jump across, yeah. But that, that's a cool level because you can kind of figure out, oh, I, like, at the end, I will have to drop a box here. Otherwise, I cannot match five. Yeah. Do you horse on a, a, the similar <laughs> idea? <laughs> Given what I've seen previously, I would say there's one push that solves this whole thing. We're pushing things. Mm. Alright, try, try... Oh, you can't push the bottom. But okay, so if you push this one off and then to the right, you will get a match on the teal. So let's try that. That's what I would think. Let's jump all the way to the left, push to the right, see what happens. Here we go. Restart. Try again. <laughs> push two blocks down there and do a jumping push. That's my next There's solution. There's really not too many options, huh? Yeah. You, or, can, well... you can't even push... No, you can't push this whole thing otherwise. Yeah, this is the could, only one left, push, right? You, well, you could push a lot. No, I think this... This is the one. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron has already dot done even though the level is not even cleared yet. <laughs> <laughs> Stage clear. Oh god. He wanted to get under 31 minutes, you see. 30.59 is the official SRL time. I think that was the last possible push you could make. Every other push in the level would have crushed you. I think you could push enough blocks off the left such that you had a tower high enough uh, that yeah. you could do a jumping push to the oh, right. Oh, and then to the right. Oh god. I don't even want to think about it. And that. then then you go to the right. You do the and same do a, thing. <laughs> you could see Saab. You know, there was, there was a number of yeah, let's possibilities not left. Thankfully, all of them were more complicated than the solution. We got another clear Jew horse with that tricky five blue level. Uh, microphone. Let me listen to this music somewhere. Never mind. Listen to this music. This is much, yeah. much different. Very tense. So, Aaron solved this level so quickly we didn't even really get to look at it. But I guess the key thing is that you need that red block near the other red blocks when they go. Yeah, next to the blue. Like, you gotta go back down there and... This is bad. I think so, too. Better do it before pushing blue down. Or you can just yeah. push blue down at the very end. It would have been so funny if a single block was left for Aaron after <laughs> all of those matches. <laughs> That's the kind of nightmare thing, because I would not know how to fix it at all. Right here, you can be a little e efficient by pushing blue down before yellow. Then you yeah. don't have to climb. Oh, I mean, you wouldn't have to climb, but you would have to jump back over to the right, I guess. There we go. So we had um, Rickery Forfeit due to control issues, was just unable to navigate menus for some reason. Vitoral also racing along with the racers. We're joined now by Aaron Doby. Hello. Hello. You got a puzzle game. You got a puzzle game. <laughs> I did. It happened. You did it. Uh, you looked good out there. Yeah. Yeah, I felt pretty comfortable here. Um... I don't know if I've ever said this before, but my usual warm-up game for a Mystery Treatment match is a quick speed run of Puyo Puyo 2. Um, so I had a lot of blocks falling and connecting in all directions stuck in my head already. Oh, you watched you pushed the yellow too far. Um, did you find that you were ever hurting for an undo button in this game? Yes, mm. from I think the very first level. <laughs> When they're like learning the movement, it's like, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, it would have it would have been nice to just press undo, then um, press the <laughs> or press the restart button to redo the entire level. But um, honestly, I think in a mystery race context, that makes the game more interesting mm -hmm. uh, because then you have sort of that that push and pull of, well, do I 
do I be careful and <laughs> ensure that I don't need to play the entire level over, or do I try and go quick and risk making a small mistake that might set me back more than it deserves? Right. We saw you being careful a lot of the time, especially this level Jew Horse is on now. Mm -hmm. You were just standing still and thinking about it for yeah. a lot. Yeah, this was the one real stumper in the goal. Um, I, was Maurice it? Maurice thought he saw something, and it, I don't see anything wrong with what he saw, of like doing matches sort of one at a time, and but, just no, always you, shuffling whatever block you need over. I mean, you don't even need to do it one at a time, you can still build the, the snake. But yeah, I don't think yeah. the order of on like when you push down the, the boxes matters that much. I don't know. I think I think that there's only really one way to do this. I mean, you see, um, Euros is doing it differently, and I think this will work too. Push see. red down. Push red to the right. Uh, no, no, you, no, no, you have to Both push the bottom. Down to you the have, right. No, this is wrong. You have to push the bottom to the right first. Yeah. But it would have worked. Because now Euros cannot... Yeah, yeah, this would have worked. Fine, ...cannot yeah. prevent the sandwich. Yeah, but you needed to you needed to have pushed the the bottom two first. Yeah, like that's that's sort of the central mechanic that you need to learn to grapple with is that when you you can when you have two blocks stacked up like that, you can't push the bottom one. You have to push the top one down off of it first, or you get squished. Mm -hmm. Did you find? the differences between this block pushing game and most other block pushing games like you can push a whole row of blocks like did you find mm -hmm. you had to you know change your way of thinking um that didn't really bother me much and i now that you mention it i feel like it should have because <laughs> i i think maybe like yeah i mentioned um I mentioned Puyo Puyo earlier, but I think maybe the closer analog to this would be uh, the puzzle mode in Tetris Attack. Yeah. And, and that one, blocks are kind of intangible in a similar way to this one, uh, so to speak. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like... They're, they're more free to move around? Yeah. Was no. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, this Don't is bad this. if this goes over. This is, the, this is what they did last time. You match, you push one to the right, the bottom one. Yeah, I, so I guess maybe the way to think oh, no. about this is if you want the block to be on the left, you push the stack at the bottom to the right mm -hmm. to create an empty space. And yeah. if you want the block to go to the right, then you leave it on top such that you can jump down and push it all the way across. So you can always choose whether blocks go left or right. And then is that enough to just, given any sequence of blocks or... It's enough it's because you can. Sequence. It's enough because you can always turn around on the right after making a match. If you want to put something yeah. between blue and red, at this point, like look, let's say you have yellow and blue at the bottom, but you want red in between because that will be matched in between. You could just I match mean, blue and then push it back to the left. I think if if you were a demon trying to make an impossible puzzle, you could you could rearrange the blocks on the top uh, such that that strategy wouldn't get you any sequence. I think any any order at the top would work. With, if you couldn't even work. make the first match somehow or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, potentially, yeah. If yeah, making the matches it's bad. mid build. Who has just lost? Yeah, red on the he left a, of yellow. A sandwich okay. around the corner. Uh, did you turn off the music? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> I, I would listen to this music every day, every day. Every day, every day, that's right. Um, I I think it's cute, but boy, do I not want to solve puzzles <laughs> while that's happening. <laughs> I, hate, I hate to bring up uh, Games to Jolly again, because it's all I ever Please talk about. Please do! But... All you think about. <laughs> but uh, that... Uh, I have built up a tolerance to irritating music while solving puzzles, and maybe it even helps. 
You just go into the jolly trance. <laughs> so this is still... Well, blues need to get matched now, because now red is... This is technically still possible. Yeah, this is should... this is like what my solution was. This is how I began. And I think, yeah, this is... Well... You, you, you would have between... needed to push. You would have needed to push the bottom stack to the right a couple of times before dropping yeah. that red for this to work. But this is what I meant when I said it was might still be possible if you were to. It's you can match the blues, but there, I guess there's no getting past this now. Mm -hmm. Juhorse is gonna try. This is a sandwich, though. Or, wait, if you shuffle this... this no, I, 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 Yeah, it's not going to happen. I don't think... Oh, no, <laughs> it's a sandwich. <laughs> GG. I was like, if you if you push the whole bottom row in, you could align the yellows on top of each other, but it's just not... There's just not enough space. Yeah, like, that's, that's the kind of solution that, like, looks like it might work until you remember that you can't push a too high stack all at once. Mm-hmm. So this is still okay. If you match the blues away. Because red mm, needs to kind of be... Yeah. And now I don't know. Yeah, you like match the blues and then drag the yellow all the way back, and I think you can still do this. Yeah. So this is going to match them, and they're going to be in the right order, but they're too far to the right to push them back to the left. That's the only problem here. I appreciated <laughs> this uh, this level being the one we took a screenshot of at the top of the the rain tree. Oh yeah, that that's I I pointed out that there was a screenshot, and how I liked that it kind of gave you a sense of what the game was going to be. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was. It was a level from the goal, so yeah. you could have been working on it. <laughs> and like honestly, it was like the level from the goal, right? Uh huh. Um, I think it's if I remember right, it was like in the process of being solved, and I don't know if it was a impossible situation from where the screenshot was, but <laughs> it did occur really to me thing. that it did occur to me that maybe <laughs> I maybe I could have studied that to see if I could like in the back of my head solve this while I was working towards it, but I don't think that would have been worth it. That would be some some truly genius level stuff. We get we have some clever people on here doing some cool stuff, but that would have been really something. Um there is uh, another race that just just got the the alarm went off. The troops are rallying, so we'll keep an eye on that and switch over as we need to. I suspect this devious level and some of the stuff to come after. I mean, I, well, let me, while I've got you here, ask mm -hmm. you about the levels where like one match solves the whole level with a ridiculous chain. <laughs> like, is that were you thinking it's going to be like that? It's all going to go at once, and I just need to find the move. Um. I I probably should have came to that conclusion faster than I did. Um, this is like something that the the Tetris attack puzzle mode likes to throw at you as a treat um, at the end of a difficult sequence. But the difference there is that that game has a move count restriction and it tells you that you have like one move to solve this. So you know that's exactly what you got to do. Right. Um, I wasn't used to the mechanics enough of this to have seen that right away so i thought maybe there was like some setup because i wasn't seeing the trigger immediately but it was there i just needed to find it yeah me and maurice we, we weren't going like oh definitely got to find the one move right we were mm -hmm. like just like oh god what do we <laughs> <laughs> and when it all collapsed we were like oh it's one of these okay mm -hmm. um and then the second time around that was when we were both like, all right, it's probably another one, right? Like, it... Yeah, the interesting thing about the uh, that huge one that's just this big block, I think that was the last level in the goal, 
think so. Um, yeah, it was. I remember that because it uh, it gave me ample time to type dot done and get ready. <laughs> yeah, we saw that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, the interesting thing about that is that your moves are incredibly restricted in that one. Um, because at the start, there is only one thing you can do that doesn't squish you. And then from there, there are only two things you can do that don't squish you. So I was just trying each one in sequence until one of them worked. I wasn't even thinking about it. That's what we did on commentary, actually. And then I think maybe you're wrong, actually, because I, I so? pointed something out to Maurice that if you were to push enough blocks off the left to create a tower high enough that you could then push blocks to the right again off the top, you would have more more moves to try. Yeah, that was like far enough in the sequence, though, that I was I... considering it part of that, I guess. W weren't you against the ceiling in that level? Could you go over the top of the blocks you're still to push down? Oh yeah, you have to because that's what we ended up doing. Yeah, I agree. There, there were a lot of stupid moves you could have done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you did the two obvious ones first and then the second obvious one was the right. answer. Oh, yeah, Marshmaster has translated, by the way, the, the cutscenes that you skipped. You So the we didn't put together until later that all the toilet paper wrapped around things is her playing nurse and bandaging things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's given first aid to 100,000 people. Well done. As a reward, I'll have you treat a million people. How lovely. <laughs> Does wrapping bandages around like a skyscraper like that count as bandaging everyone inside? Yeah, they're all she they're all better now. Nice. That's efficiency. All right. So the second race is pretty far in the games giving process. They already have a game they're already setting up, so I think we are also going to set up. All right. That's all right. what we'll do then. Best of luck to Jew Horse with this really difficult mm -hmm. level. Congratulations Aaron Doby on picking up the win and thanks so much for coming to talk to us. Yeah, thank you. We'll see you guys next time.